Donovan Mitchell Jr. is one of the most outstanding rookies in the NBA so far this season. Two weeks ago, he scored a career-high 41 points against the New Orleans Pelicans, and the Utah Jazz went on to win the game 114 to 108. He surpassed Daryl Griffith's team record 38 points that he set back in 1981. Mitchell also became the seventh rookie in Utah Jazz's franchise to have a 30 plus point game. He's also the first rookie in franchise history to have a 40 plus point game. Donovan became the seventh active player to score 40 or more points as a rookie. Other active players to score 40 or more points as a rookie were LeBron James. He scored 41 points against the New Jersey Nets on March the 27th in 2004. And Cleveland went on to win the game 107 to 104. Carmelo Anthony scored 41 points against the Seattle Supersonics. on March the 30th in 2004, and Denver went on to win the game 124 to 119. Kevin Durant scored 42 points against the very team that he's on right now, the Golden State Warriors, and the Seattle Supersonics went on to win the game 126 to 121. On April the 16th in 2008, Eric Gordon scored 41 points against the Oklahoma City Thunder back in 2009. No, it's not. Kevin Durant had a great ratio tonight, and so did Eric Gordon, who had 41 a Clippers rookie record. He went off. And the LA Clippers went on to win the game 107 to 104 on January the 23rd. Stephen Curry scored 42 points against the Portland Trailblazers. And Steph Curry has saved his best for last. 42 points. Nine rebounds, eight assists. Back in 2010, and Golden State went on to win the game 122 to 116 on April the 14th. And Blake Griffin, he actually had two 40 point games in his rookie season. He scored 44 points against the New York Knicks. And Blake Griffin, for your best 44. Final score New York 124, your winners 115. But the LA Clippers went on to lose the game 124 to 115 on November the 20th back in 2010. Then Blake Griffin scored 47 points back in 2011 against the Indiana Pacers on January the 17th. And Blake Griffin had a game for the ages. 47 points, 14 rebounds, 47 points on 24 wow. field goal attempts. The final score, Clippers get the victory 114 to 107. Clippers Live starts right now. And LA Clippers went on to win the game 114 to 107. We identify Donovan Mitchell Jr. as a basketball player. But interestingly, he played baseball at some point in his life. He could have actually made it to the MLB if he focused on playing baseball. In this video, I'll be talking about how Donovan Mitchell Jr. transitioned into playing basketball full time. Once again, it's Third Eye View 195 coming at you with my intellect. Stay tuned. Donovan Mitchell Jr. was born on September the 7th in 1996. He's the son of Donovan Mitchell Sr. His dad currently works for New York Mets, and he's the director of players relations for the Mets organization. His dad was also a 14th round draft pick. He was drafted by the baseball team, the Houston Astros, back in 1992, and he spent seven years in the minor leagues before retiring. When he retired, the Mets offered him a job to be a part of their Gulf Coast minor league team, and he accepted the offer. His father kept on growing in the organization and was continuously offered different jobs until he got to his current position, where he is at now. His father never played in the big leagues, which is the major league. The minor league in baseball is equivalent to the G League or D League if you still identify it by that name in basketball. This was the reason why Donovan Mitchell Jr. was into baseball. One, because his dad was a baseball player, and also, when Donovan was younger, he would ride the team bus with his father, and also spent time in the minor league clubhouse in Columbia, South Carolina, and sometimes he would take batting practice in Norfolk, Virginia, where the New York Mets used to have their AAA team. Donovan Mitchell Jr. grew up in Elmsford, New York, and he went to Greenwich Country Day School, located in Greenwich, Connecticut. The school goes from the nursery age all the way to the ninth grade. Mitchell Jr. played AAU basketball for the Riverside Hawks, a team that is located in the New York City area. He also played baseball as well. When Mitchell Jr. was growing up in Greenwich, his favorite teams in baseball were the New York Mets and the Texas Rangers. In high school, Mitchell Jr. attended 
Canterbury School in New Milford, Connecticut in the 10th grade, his sophomore year. While he was attending Canterbury, he was playing a baseball game but during that game, he broke his wrist. He was trying to catch the baseball and wasn't focused on his surroundings. And that's when he collided with the catcher. Mitchell wasn't the only one that got injured, the catcher did as well, because the catcher broke his jaw. Because of this injury, Mitchell Jr. wasn't able to play AAU basketball for the summer. Donovan said, I was sad and cried a little bit. It definitely built that hunger back inside of me to focus on basketball. After this injury occurred, he transferred to Brewster Academy in Wolfboro, New Hampshire for his final two years in high school, which would be his junior and senior year. He made this decision to transfer because of Providence assistant coach who was recruiting him at the time. When he attended Brewster Academy, that's when he dropped baseball for good and started to focus on basketball full time. If it wasn't for this wrist injury, he probably wouldn't be in the NBA today. He would be playing baseball. He said, baseball was really it. I had my mind made up. I wanted to make the major leagues, but then I broke my wrist and that kind of went out the window right then. Leaving baseball was definitely the best decision for him to make because he really became successful with playing basketball. When he attended Booster Academy, nobody knew about him and he wasn't a top recruit. His school coach said when he arrived here, he didn't have a number next to his name or national ranking, but he was hungry. But then suddenly, Donovan started to break out. He was a big part of Brewster Academy winning back-to-back -back national prep championships. He was also the tournament MVP. He was also being recruited by big name schools like Providence, Creighton, Florida State, Indiana, Georgetown, Villanova, Louisville, Kansas, Boston College, and North Carolina. In the end, he chose to play at Louisville. I'm shocked that Donovan never went to North Carolina because Michael Jordan was his favorite player growing up. And that's the school Michael Jordan went to and won an NCAA championship there because most people would sign to the same school that their idol went to. This is why Donovan Mitchell wears the number 45 because that's the number that Michael Jordan wore when he played baseball for a short amount of time before returning to the NBA. In Donovan's freshman season at Louisville, he averaged 7.4 points per game, 1.7 assists per game, and 3.4 rebounds per game. In his sophomore season, he improved a lot. He averaged 15.6 points per game, 2.7 assists per game, and 4.9 rebounds per game, shooting 46.3% from the field and 35.4% from the three-point line and 80.6% from the free throw line. He also made it to the first team All-Atlantic Coast Conference. After his sophomore season, he immediately decided to declare for this year's NBA draft. He didn't hire an agent. He was unsure and deciding on if he should pull out of the draft or not. He worked out with Chris Paul and Paul George in the summer and they said, look, you're good enough. Just go out there and show it. And that's what changed his mind. He didn't pull out of the draft. That was definitely the best decision he made because right now he is currently averaging 17.3 points per game, 1.4 steals per game, 3.2 assists per game, and 3 rebounds per game throughout 27 games. Donovan was drafted 13th in this year's NBA draft by the Denver Nuggets, but was traded to the Utah Jazz for the 24th pick Tyler Lydon and Trey Lyles. On July the 5th in the summer, he signed a 4-year rookie scale contract with the Utah Jazz. Six days later, on July the 11th, he signed a multi-year shoe deal with Adidas. During the same day that he signed the deal, he ended up scoring 37 points against the Memphis Grizzlies during this year's Summer League in Las Vegas. That was the most points scored by any player in the Summer League this year. Donovan Mitchell has the potential to be one of the best or the best two-way players in the league in the future. And like I said before, he's one of the most outstanding rookies in the NBA right now and is in the race to win the Rookie of the Year award in my eyes. But that's it for the video guys, that's the story of how Donovan Mitchell Jr. became a full-time basketball player. And like I always say, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button and tell me what you think. Peace! I eat my French toast bag of French girl, tell her let's go. Watch me explode like I'm Mentos mixed with that coke. Moving like a groupie, so I back up pronto. Though you a baddie, I'ma split my Uber, go get you a taxi.